In this video, you will learn how to solve this nice polynomial equation using two methods, the hard way and the easy way. First of all, we'll start with the hard way and we'll see how we'll find the values of x. But don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Also, share this video with friends and colleagues. And remember to subscribe to my channel for more simplified mathematics solution. Now to solve for the values of x, the first thing I want us to do is to uh, add x to the power of 3 to both sides. That way we can be able to take away x to the power of 3 from the left hand side and we can be able to isolate the squares from the cubes. Now let's do that. If we do this, we are going to have a value of x plus 2, right, all squared to be equal to uh, x to the power of 3 plus 8. Great. Now, having done this, the next thing I'll have to do is to think of uh, doing something such that the left-hand side will be a different of 2 squared and the right-hand side can also be a different of 2 cubes. Now, what do I do in order to achieve that? If I subtract 16 from both sides, I think I can be able to achieve that. Now, I'm going to have my x plus 2 all squared minus 16, right? And this will be equal to x to the power of 3 uh, plus 8 minus 16. And the right-hand side will give me x to the power of 3 plus, uh, minus 8, right? That will give us a, a negative 8. That will give us a negative 8 because 16 is greater than 8. And over here, I'll have my x plus 2 all squared minus what? Minus 16. Great. Now, what do I do from here? From here, you come to see that we're already having a difference of 2 squares because 16 can be equal to 4 squared, right? And we can also have our 8 to be equal to 2 to the power of 3. Great, so we can insert that into those equations. So we'll have uh, x plus 2 all squared, right? And this would be minus 4 squared. And this would be equal to x to the power of 3 minus 2 to the power of what? 3. Great. Now, having done this, we have a difference of 2 squared already. Now, I want to flash your mind back to an algebraic formula. In that algebraic formula, we have x to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3. That's a to the power of 3. This will give us a minus b, right? And uh, this will give us a square, right? Plus ab. And this will give us plus b square. Now, in this instance, you've come to know that your a is equal to x and our b is equal to 2. Now, I also want you to recall that you um, also have uh, a square minus b square, right? If you have a square minus b square, that will, is going to give you a minus b, right? And then we'll have uh, a plus b. Now, in this instance, comparing that with our equation, our uh, a is equal to x plus 2, right? And our b is equal to 4. We are going to use this expression, these algebraic formulas, to simplify that expression we have here. The first of all, we are going to consider a square. Now, if we consider the square, we will come to see that the square is going to give us, uh, we'll have our x plus 2, right? Plus 4, that's the first part and that is for this and then we'll also have our x plus 2 minus 4 and that is for this and this will be uh this will be equal to we'll have the square part which is what x minus 2 right and then we'll have the other part to be x square plus 2x then plus what to what square and that is that so how won't apply that we are going to simplify this part this part is going to give us x plus 6 right why this part is going to give us x minus 2 right 
and then this will be equal to x minus 2 and then we'll have our what uh, we'll have our x square plus 2x plus 4 great now I haven't seen this we are going to uh, do one thing what we are going to do is to I'll take this whole part to the other side and if we take that whole part to the other side we'll have our x minus 2 right and multiply by x square plus 2x plus 4 and this will be equal to x plus 6 and then we'll have our x minus what 2. So what we are simply going to do is to subtract x plus 6 uh, multiplied by x minus uh, 2 from both sides. So if we subtract those two values from both sides, you'll come to see that this other side will simply give us what? 0. So if this other side simply give us 0, we're going to have this to be equal to 0. Then this other side will give us our x minus 2, right? Multiply by x squared plus 2x plus 4 and that will be minus x plus 6 multiplied by x minus 2. Great. So you have come to see that we have two common terms and these are the common term x minus 2. So we're going to bring them out. If we bring them out, we have x minus 2, right? And this will be multiplied by x square because all these divided by x minus 2 will give us x square minus 2x plus 4 why all these divided by x uh, x uh, minus 2 will have left negative x plus uh, 6 and that will give us negative x minus what 6 and all these will be equal to 0 great now let's simplify this. This is what we call the zero product law. And if we have this, we're going to have our x minus 2, right? Multiplying x squared, right? Plus, plus 2x uh, minus x is going to give us plus x. And this is going to give us minus 2. Now from this value, you can see that we have two zero product law. Where we can simplify this we we'll simplify that we have our x minus 2 now from that simplification we are simply going to find two values such that when we multiply them we're going to have a negative 2 and when we add those two values we're going to have a positive 1 what are those two values uh, for we to have a positive 1 2 must be uh, higher than what 1 so 2 will be assigned a positive sign and one will be assigned a negative sign. So plus two times minus one will give us plus minus two. Why plus two plus minus one will give us plus one. So the two values will give us x plus two, right? And then we'll have our x minus what? One, and this will be equal to zero. So from that equation, you can come to see that the value of our x will be equal to uh, over here will give us 2, here will give us negative 2, and here is going to give us 1. So the value of x is equal to these values. Now we'll come to check it out to see if our solution is right before we will now think of uh, showing you uh, the other, uh, the simplest method to go about solving this. Now if we, if we check this out, we're going to remember the values that was given to us. We are given our uh, x. That's the initial question, 2 multiplied by square minus x to the power of 3, and we are told that is equal to 8. So if we insert the value of 2, our uh, x to be equal to 2, if we do that, you are going to see that this value will give us 2 plus 2, right? All square minus 2 to the power of 3. Will it give us 8? Now let's look at 2 plus 2 is going to give us 4. 4 square is going to give us 16. 16 minus 2 to the power of 3 is 8, and that will give us what? 8. So that means this is what? This is right. Now, if we insert the value of x equal to negative 2, you'll come to see that this is also what? This is also right. Because if we have 
uh, negative 2 plus 2 that will be squared minus negative 2 uh, cube and this is going to give us 0 0 to the power of uh, the 0 is this is 0 why this is going to give us a negative multiplied by negative what negative 8 why this is still going to give us 8 right why this is right so if we insert the value of 1 we are still going to have the value of 8 so that tells us that these solutions are absolutely what right and they are the values that are the solutions to that polynomial equations that are given to us over there now let's look at one easiest way to go about solving this to go about solving this remember that we are given uh, x plus 2 square right minus x to the power of 3 equal to 8 now to solve this using the most easiest method all we simply need to do is we simply need to do is to uh, simplify this part if we simplify that part you're going to see by expansion that this is going to give us a square plus 2x right plus 2x plus 2x and that will give us plus 4 and this will give us negative x to the power of 3 and this will be equal to 8 so this is going to give us x square plus 4x right plus 4 minus x to the power of 3 and this will be equal to 8. Now what do you see from here? From here you can simply see that uh, uh, if we rearrange this with uh, x to the power of 3 coming first and this will do by taking all these parts all these parts to uh, the right hand side so if we take all those parts to the right hand side we'll have our x to the power of 3 to become positive right and that will give us minus x to the power of 2 which is positive on this side and this is going to give us a negative 4 uh, x right a negative 4 a negative 4 then plus 8 and this will be equal to 0. So that equation will give us our x to the power of 3 minus x square minus 4x, right? Plus 4, and this will be equal to 0. Now, do you see something coming out there that this can easily be simplified? From this, we can find out that we have a value of x square, right? x square here is common, and then this will be left with x minus 1, right? Why here we can have a negative one while we have our x minus one, right? And this will be equal to zero. So from here you can see from here you will come to see that things these are common. We are going to see that we can take away x square from here. If we take away x square from here, which is common, this will have x minus 1, right? And 4 is common here. If we take away 4, which is common, we'll be left with x minus 1, right? And this will be equal to 0. So we have common factors, which is x square minus 4, which can easily be simplified, and then we'll have x minus 1 to be equal to 0. Now, you come to see that this whole expression is going to give us the value of x to be equal to plus or minus what? 2, right? And this is going to give us the value of x to be equal to 1. So what does that tell us? That tells us that the values of x can be equal to negative 2, can be equal to 2, and can be equal to 1, which is exactly the same variables we got initially. So you see, that this is very easy and is a simpler way to solve this uh, uh, polynomial equation using a hard method and the easiest method i know you've learned a lot from solving this question with me don't forget to give it a thumbs up share it with friends and colleagues and remember to subscribe to my channel for more simplified mathematics solutions thanks so much for watching and bye bye for now